Hello everyone. Uh, first off, I apologize for the lack of videos recently. I got caught up with finals and whatnot, uh, it being the end of the semester and whatnot. But uh, now I'm back home for the summer, and we'll probably have a whole lot more free time, so hopefully there will be a lot more videos coming up. Well, without further ado, I've got a little experiment I want to try today. Um, so this past semester, I interned at a radio station up in Rochester, and my big project was getting dynamic RDS implemented. That is to say, getting uh, song titles and artists and show titles and things like that being broadcast um, along with alongside their audio signals so that capable radios could display that information. Well, one thing they, some of the people over there had given me a hard time about was that my solution did not also work with the HD radio pad data system, which is it's essentially the same idea but has few more features, um, and is specific to HD radio, and HB, HD radio is annoying in that it will not carry over the RDS data if pad data is not available. So unfortunately, HD radio listeners will not see the data. Now that being said, we scanned through the radio stations up there, and found that most other stations in the market also were not broadcasting pad data. So now that I'm back home in a major market, I figured I'd do a little experiment with this uh, Sanjian HDT1 HD radio tuner here. Let's find out how many stations here broadcast pad data. So without further ado, let's start. Here's WAMU. And this thing is being annoying. This thing seems to have a little bug in it. I'm not sure what it, if it's trying to do some kind of automatic fine tuning or what, but when the reception is no good, it decides, starts drifting all over the place and then loses it entirely and you have to reboot the thing. Let's see if we get it now. $2,500. There we go. Blocking the HD. And no pad data. See the HD2. We have an HD2, no data there either. Mm, there's no HD3. Okay, I'm not sure what station this is, but they're not even broadcasting RDS. Or if they are, I can't pick it up from here. Okay, we got RDS. See, when you get RDS, you get lots of data here. Now, they not, don't seem to be broadcasting an HD radio, so we'll move past them. Here's WBTA. Let's see what we get. Nothing. No pad. There was RDS, but no pad. CHD2. Nothing. And there's no HD3. More HD, see what we get. Nothing. No HD2. Uh, we got some static pad data. But, um, don't think there's, gonna, there's anything dynamic there. It's just a station identification. I mean, they are in a commercial, but... Same thing on the HD2, and no HD3. Let's see here. You lock the HD. Oh, that's very descriptive. <laughs> that is some very descriptive pad data right there. Same thing on HD2. There's HD3. Making down a very good move up. Let's see if we uh, see if we can lock here. I'm not sure we're even gonna get an HD lock on this one. Normally can't pull this one in very well. Looks like we can't lock it. Oh, we just missed one. Won't even tune 97.1. And there's no pad. Nothing there. Uh, let's see if we can go back to 97.1, see if we can pull that in. Nope, can't pull it in. Like to experiment with that. I don't think they have pad data either. 
And I cannot pull in um, even RDS here. Let's see what we get here. No pad. Let's see, will we get anything? Nope. Nothing. Nothing on HD2. No HD3. And 101.1 is not broadcasting in HD, so we get RDS. Um, I don't know why it stopped there. Oh, I think it's just having a moment here. Let's turn that off. There we go. We got RDS. No HD. Let's see here. Oh wow! Real pad data! How nice! But it's a news station, so it never changes. Let's see what we got on HD2. Radio Sputnik, interesting. HD3. I wonder if this one's got an ID here. Oh, yeah, we have actual dynamic pad data here. What do you know? And let's see, we lock, and we just have generic. Having a hard time locking this one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. That's RDS. We got no HD on this one. Two run homer for Jonathan Lucroy, his sixth of the year. That came in the fourth inning. And Trevor Cahill relieving him. Oh, we got one again. How beautiful. Very descriptive. There's HD2. HD3. Hmm. We got 107.7, that's just a copy of 103.5. And not even pulling an RDS on this one. Let me see, I think we missed one in here. Yeah. Um, we're not even pulling an RDS on that one. So there you have it. Even in a major radio market, there's not much by way of pad data. There was one station that actually had it fully set up. So there, take that, anyone who complained that my dynamic RDS did not also work with pad. <laughs> well, either way, that'll be it for now, and stay tuned for more stuff, and uh, good ideas, of course, given the uh, name of this channel. Um, not sure whether that will be uh, literal or sarcastic. <laughs> that will, that will, that's soon to be figured out when those videos get made, but stay tuned for more coming soon right here on If You Like Good Ideas.